Hello and welcome back. Today I'd like to share with you a project that was completed a few years back. As you can see from the before video, my apologies for the video quality, this site desperately needed some TLC. But first we had to clear the site just to get a good sense of what the garden feels like. During the design consultation, the client and I reviewed several layout possibilities. We went over how they would function, their benefits, and an overview of the details of each proposal. A decision was made to use an angular approach in a garden. The benefit of this design is that it draws attention away from the fact that you're working within a box. A sitting nook was developed where more lounges can be pulled together to allow a group of friends to come and sit around a small coffee table or a fire pit. Changing the direction of the stone to run parallel to the bench orientation reinforced the angular approach to this design. Linear drain was added in the center of the garden to quickly remove any surface water accumulating during heavy storms. Raised planters were installed that act as backing for the uh, L-shaped bench arrangement and also allowed to hide the substructure of the floating bench support system. The bench itself has a few design elements of its own. We integrated flat end tables into the structure of the benches for easy entertainment use. A gentle slope was introduced to the benches for a very loungy feel. Having the benches just 2 inches lower than the average seat makes it more comfortable and one can easily spend a few hours sitting in them enjoying the evening. Another very important element of this project was updating the staircase. Composite decking was originally installed and although it did not age well, a decision was taken to leave it in place and concentrate on other features of the staircase. The landing was reshaped and redirected so as to orientate you at the same angle to the rest of the garden features when you come down the stairs. Handrails were wrapped in Ipe wood and new cable system was installed to update the staircase. A privacy panel was placed at the bottom of the staircase to serve a few purposes. One, it's offering some privacy and filtered view of the staircase itself for the people who are sitting in the garden looking up. Secondly, it adds a bit of a visual block coming down so the eye doesn't travel too fast to the end of the garden. By slowing down the visual experience in the garden, the garden itself feels bigger and richer. And thirdly, this panel will also act as a support for the clematis planted just below. The main feature of the garden is a large Japanese maple. It is underplanted with Japanese forest grass, ferns and hostas. In a year or two after the project completion, these plants will completely fill in the space below the tree. In the opposite corner, we chose a yellow leaf sumac for its winding branches and multi-stem shape. Again, once it matures, it will give height and architectural structure to this corner. Flower beds are designed in such a way that no matter where you're sitting or which way you're looking, there's a focal point for you to enjoy. Of course, a garden such as this one would not be completed without lighting. LED strip lighting was installed under the benches to light up the patio, and two-way sconces light up fence and the garden at the same time. And this was another recently completed project. Thank you for watching.